But my next guest has a few places to hide out in retail if the economy slows. Let's bring in Peter Keith, senior research analyst at Piper Sandler. Uh, Peter, good to have you uh, with us. I mean, I guess let's start off with the premise. Um, so is it uh, you think it's a pretty far gone conclusion that the consumer is going to struggle into next year, that we will actually have the uh, recession fears realized? Yeah, um, I think there's a lot of cross currents with the consumer. There's certainly some positives and negatives. I'm going to lead a lot in our Piper Macro team. They think we're going to have this slow grind into a recession in the back half of 2023. And I kind of see consumer spending following that path. You probably see employment uh, tick down. Uh, savings is continuing to draw down. So we just see consumer spending overall not falling off, but just kind of slowly grinding down. And so we want to play names that we think could be a little more resilient to that type of backdrop. Yeah, what are the attributes of the kinds of companies that you think uh, can withstand that pressure? Yeah, so um, a good example would just be companies that might benefit from some type of trade down, right? If consumers are feeling a little more strained, they want more value shopping, uh, where might they go uh, as, a, as a place to save money? We think the dollar stores are uh, a great place for that, like a dollar general. Um, now, interestingly, trade down hasn't occurred much in 2022 because there's just markdowns everywhere. There's been so much inventory across retail. There are promotions all over the place. But inventories are starting to get cleaned up. We think that is uh, largely normalized for 2023. And so trade down probably accelerates, in our view, again, as, as uh, the jobless claims uh, likely tick up. So, so Dollar General is one that we really like a lot. It's a high-quality name, safe haven in that trade down environment. All right. Um, interested also in uh, Planet Fitness as a thought that it's, I guess, some some kind of a value uh, play. Exactly. Yeah. So yeah, Planet's the, the value play in the in the gym space. It's the ten dollar a month membership. Uh, so look, there could be some trade down there. People maybe pay fifty dollars a month and they want to save some money. But what's great about Planet is that yeah, they are still not back to their pre-COVID uh, members per gym level. And and we're going to January. It's really kind of uh, peak season for, for new member signups. A year ago, their signup season got disrupted by Omicron. So now as we just pivot into January, just in a, yeah, another week or two, we think they're going to be uh, seeing a lot of new member signups. They're going to start off the year with a great start. And at the end of the day, it's a great value offering for the consumer at $10 a month. So we don't think there's going to be any economic impact. They, and they, they comp very strongly in the last recession. And then uh, love your quick thought on Boot Barn and why uh, why that's a recession-proof uh, category. Yeah. So Boot Barn's um, also kind of our favorite valuation play. Uh, you know, it, it's been really beat up this year. It's at about 10 times earnings. And in my space, it, stocks that have a lot of store growth opportunity just get really nice valuations. So Boot Barn's growing the store base by over 10% per year. Companies that I follow that do that generally trade at 20 times earnings. So, Boot, you're getting like a 50% discount at 10 times earnings. The reality is, Boot Barn also just sells a lot of function product. It's what people wear in their job. Um, it's mm. about 70% of the sales are functional use. And here again, in our macro team, we're seeing this big shift to onshoring and, and more U.S. production. So, we think Boot Barn's very well positioned with kind of where the economy is going. And we think it's a cheap stock and, and certainly warrants a look. Interesting. All right. Yeah, it has uh, been cut in half already in terms of share price. So uh, certainly low expectations greeting next year. Peter, uh, great to catch up with you. Thanks very much.